I didn't see you there. What's going on, Lightsman here? Welcome back to another Thursday episode. I'm keeping the intro forever. It's just dumb as shit, and it represents me perfectly. Just coughing and wheezing and eventually dying, like us all. We're like five seconds into the video, and we're talking about everybody's going to die. <laughs> if you're new to the series, I'll leave a link in the description to the first one. But basically what this is, I ramble about shit. My brain is very stupid and weird. And anytime I think of something really dumb, I write it down on my phone and I talk to you guys about it. And this is how we're going to do it. Also, I think I fixed the lighting. The lighting is better. No creepy fucking shadow behind me. I'm becoming more professional. You boy doing his research. All right, complete side note. If anybody here has ever tried a ring light, it's kind of a thought and kind of just me. Oh my fuck. So that's kind of a thing and kind of me just being really stupid. This is why I used the last episode, which is the why the anime look in the eyes and shit. So look, that's what I had to stare into for an hour last time. It looks like I'm about to tell like a, like a horror story. Like, there once was a man. His name is Pablo. <laughs> that's been a while since I've done that. Oh my fuck. Oh fuck. I got it. I got it. I'm a professional, I swear. Do you ever look at a ring light and, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Portal. You ever play Portal where you kind of just like put your hand through and it just appears behind you? Like that. It was at this moment that I realized that every now and again I'll think to myself, what in life brought me to this point? Or I guess fisting a giant ring light. I do this a lot. This is a random thing that I didn't even mean to think about. But something will happen in life, whether it be you go to a wedding or something really good happens in your life or something really bad happens in your life. And you kind of pause, take a step back out of reality and think to yourself, what happened in life for me to get to this point? If I did something slightly, oh my fuck. For example, what happened in my life that I get to talk to in front of half a million people or more, I have or less, I'm not sure how many views this is gonna get. I have the ability to make money off fisting lights. I can even go one better. What happened in life for me to fist holes for a living? My mom's gonna watch this video and she's gonna text me. I said this last time. My mom texted me saying, Craig, we need to talk. Same thing's gonna happen. My mom's gonna text me like, Craig, I saw you fisting that light bulb. Put this away, I'm getting really sidetracked. I haven't even gotten to any of my points yet. First thing you need to know about me is I get very distracted very, very easily. Fuck is my phone. Also, side note, I got, I got a haircut. I know over like a few minutes into this video already, but I think it looks good. Compared to the last time where it was like borderline mullet, I can dig it. What do you guys think? Should I keep this or not? Nah? What do you think, Emily, if you like my hair or not? Really weird, I know, but real talk, I, I can fuck with this. Should probably make a remark as well. Again, I'm gonna include a clip right here of me talking about sleep, okay? It was in the last episode, you can go watch the full thing if you want, but let me play this for you real quick. Someone said that for you to fall asleep, you have to at least turn once. I would fall asleep here, but I know I have to at least turn once for me to fall asleep. And I'm just sitting here like extremely fucking comfortable, but my brain's a fucking asshole and it's telling me, you need to turn the fuck over, boy. I'm like, uh. <laughs> now, I have got thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of people going, Mini, why did you fuck my sleeping schedule? Forgot to tell you a very important part about that. The very important part is you're meant to use that as a cheat code. Like, treat it as the Konami code of sleeping. You're meant to turn once in your sleep. So what I do is I lie down on one side, and then within a minute or two, I flip over to the other side. Mentally, I tell myself, I am now ready for sleep. And I just pass out like a light. Gone. You ever get those nights where you just lay there and you don't know why you're falling asleep? Use that cheat code. It's a cheat code for your body. It should have a name, but it doesn't. Sleep code. Sleep code. Hashtag sleep code. I'm a genius. That, that's a lie. Also, if, why am I walking in? Where, where, there, there's nothing here. Like, look, this is the edge of my desk. And this is a door. Fuck. So this one, I have no idea how I'm gonna record because I don't have the little phone connection thing. But I'm not sure if like Android has it or not, but I know iPhone has it. An iPhone has predictive text. And what that means is you've got these three, hold on, let me show you, let me get close. If you look, you've got these three things down here. You've got I, you, and it. And one thing I figured out for mine, mine is just creepy as fuck. Based off what you text people and tries to guess like your personality and who you are, I think. Mine just ends up being really fucking creepy. Let me show you. I'm just gonna hammer these top ones, okay? I'm just gonna hammer them. You can do this at home if you want. Hammer it and just see what comes up. It's gonna be like story time, but my phone is the personality here. You can have the best things that make can happen to your life without having a good friend day time for a me while looking forward to the me out there, here a god for you in the T, TL the ye, oh my god, I think my am, oh god, I hope that is holy. Fuck! <laughs> my phone thinks I'm like, extraordinarily religious. Okay, 
I'm just gonna go with the left one this time. I just woke up and now I'm going to sleep. Now, lol, lol, yeah, yeah, true, but true, lol, lol, yeah, yeah, true, but lol, lol, yeah, yeah, true, but true, but lol, lol, yeah. I broke it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. You look. Like, okay, now I'm going to sleep. Lol, lol. Yeah, yeah, true. Let's go for the middle one. I'm going to do all three. Actually, no, I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it. All right. What do we got? Yeah, I just want to be honest, lol. I love it so bad, but it's not really good, but it works well. And then again, it's all good, but I don't want you to know, but you know the true, true, lol, yeah, true. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's looping again. And then it goes straight into lol, lol, yeah, yeah, true, but lol, lol, yeah, yeah, true, but true, lol, lol, yeah, yeah. Why does it keep doing this? Lol, lol, yeah, or lol, yeah, yeah. It's like my phone is trying to drop the hottest mixtape of the 1980s. One more, one more. Predictive text. I'm gonna spam random ones. I'm gonna spam random ones. Found it again. Here we go. Yeah, I true, but it was meant for to be the good. Oh God. Side note, I'm gonna get a lot of this wrong. Side a true, but it was meant for to, for to be true. But I was like a good friend and a true friend circle that you are the only person that I know you're all over the place. You want me something, I just wanted you for everything, lol. <laughs> I hope you had a good time and thank and thank me God and you can have anything in my bed, you can do anything. <laughs> Imagine having a friend like this. Every time they reply with something like this, you just look at them going, The fuck, bitch? Honestly, I highly recommend you try that at home. It's just dumb and it kind of like... It's a tiny reflection of your personality, but it's also dumb as fuck. And realize that you're a bit weird. You're a bit weirder than you think. You kind of makes you realize like, hey, the fuck is wrong with me? Some of you may know I live in Los Angeles, California, but I only went to America once between the ages of like zero. When, when, when you're born, are you like age zero, age not? Because obviously I know like you're, you're four months old or five months old. But you don't really say like, hey, by the way, I'm 460 months old. You don't say that growing up. So when you're age zero, are you just called age zero? Like if you're talking in year, you are year one, year 12. Like me, I'm year 22, just year zero. What the fuck? Where did I get this shit from? I, I didn't even have this written down in my notes. So it's just like, anyway, I was 17 or 18, I think when I went to Seattle. But before that, I only been to America once. And that's when I was four years old. I went to Florida, Disneyland, or Disney World. Hold on, people get triggered at that. It, Walt Disney World, Orlando. Okay, we're good. I've got to not be the only person who's just like, Disneyland, Disney World. I don't care about the difference. It's Disney, it's a park, I want to go there. My only memory of America before I was 17 or so, well, I was four years old, I do not remember very, very much. But the only thing I do remember is me like, you know you get those guardrails before you go and like when you're lining up to go on a roller coaster or something, you kind of do like those windy, like the metal bars, I guess, like little mini fences. My only memory of America is me clinging onto those side rails, screaming and crying my eyes out because I didn't want to go on the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs ghost train. That's a literal thing in my life. No! No, I don't want to go on it! No! That was my only memory of America, just crying and screaming. Actually, it's a bit like America today, isn't it? Too soon? All right, so this next one kind of goes off the last video where I was talking about cartoons and the, the yellow school bus conspiracy, but I'm gonna talk about one cartoon, okay? And if you haven't seen it, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your childhood. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, if you've seen Courage the Cowardly Dog, chances are you're maybe around my age, maybe you're like four to eight, maybe something like that, maybe you're younger, maybe you're older. Please, for the love of God, tell me what the fuck were the people on when they were making that show? I guess that actually goes for every single Cartoon Network show. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. The fuck? Johnny Bravo. If you watch him nowadays, when you're a kid, you watch Johnny Bravo and you think, oh, he's picking up girls. It's so funny. Ha 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 ha. Now, if you go back and watch it, you're like, wow, you're a sleazy cunt. <laughs> Where's the cowardly dog? I'm gonna show you a little clip. I think I've talked about this before in an Ask Mini. One thing that I remember just straight out is the Return the Slab episode. I don't know why. That one, and then there was like a, there was like an amphitheater episode where I remember like the smiley face and the frowny face you kind of get on like theaters and shit like that. Those two, they just stick out in my brain. And from what I learned, those two scared the fuck out of me. I had nightmares about Cars the Cowardly Dog for months. And you have no idea. But have you seen the last episode? The last episode is, even to this day, is creepy as fuck. Let me show you. What the actual fuck? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is meant to be a kid's show! <laughs> Saying all that, it's still one of my favorite shows of all time, but 
What in the fuck? A little random thought that I had. This is kind of like, it's a childhood story, but it also reflects me in a very weird way. So, I was what you kind of, I guess you would call a mangoaholic. Basically what that means is anytime I would go into any store, I felt the need to buy something mango related. I don't know why, but for example, like, when I was in Dubai, I went to go visit there, god, five, six years ago, and I walked into the store with my dad. All I picked up in the entire store was two liters of mango nectar juice, a mango ice cream, and a physical mango, and walked the fuck out the door. I bought nothing else in the store apart from mango shit. And it was that point I kind of realized, like, may have a problem. <laughs> and for the love of god, I know I'm not the only person out here that has that. There's gotta be more mangoesaholics, please. Man mangoesaholic. Mango! I don't know why I sound like, like, a, like a 17 century button like mangos! Why is he jerking? Gunter! Gunter, get over here right now! Vibe my shoes! Where is my doppelganger? I need you to reflect upon my chef! Wait, that was actually a weird good transition to the next point. This next one, if you're one of these people, please let me know down below about your experiences with being said person with other person. And what I mean is if you ever looked at identical twins, okay? If you're not an identical twin like me, or if you don't have one, I guess you could say, have you ever thought about having one? Like, someone that you can look dead in the face, looks exactly like you to a certain point. Like, if you just put on the same clothes and the same haircut and everything, you're the same person. I can sit here, and then he can come in and just talk about whatever he wants, and I'll just be like, yeah. Like, have you ever thought about the random things that you can do to someone? And I can just listen to him. All day! Like, have you ever thought- have you ever thought about the random things you can do with yourself? It's creepy as fuck! That sounded really, really wrong! Exactly! You can fuck off now if you want. It's- it's a closed door oh. that way, though. Okay, I'll go. Exactly. Okay. Me just being myself, I kind of think of, like, questions like, I wonder what it would be like to kiss myself. I wonder what it would be like to- I don't know! Fucking punch myself in the face properly! Cause like punching yourself like that, th nah, it's not the same effect. Getting fucking tickled by myself. I don't fucking know. Doing heroin with myself. <laughs> Never done heroin in my life. Why is an example that comes to mind? Dying with myself. I understand it's not actually you, like it's not like a clone, but it kind of is, and it's the closest you're gonna get to it. You can compare dick sizes with yourself. What if the other person was bigger? Whoa. Same size? Yeah, I think so. I don't really know where I'm going with this conversation because I don't really have an example of myself to like, by the way, I have an invisible twin. Come in, Tommy. It's like, no, I don't know why his name would be Tommy. I guess I just always wanted an identical twin called Tommy. The more you know. And honestly, that has been all of my thoughts for this week. Will I have more next week? I hope so. If my brain continues to not die on me, I guess. Honestly though, I'm actually really enjoying the series. It's just, it's dumb as shit. You guys get to know about how I work. So if you met me in person, you know exactly what to expect. Cause this is literally it. The Ask Mini series, it was Q and A based and like you got to know me, but it's not actually how I am. This is me. What I did is just click record on my computer and I have sat here and talked to you for the last 32 minutes and 52 seconds. That's what I did. I've just rambled, I've sidetracked and I fucking love it. That is the video for the day. If you haven't already subscribed, you should do that. I was gonna say something really organized. No, you should, you should do that. Same as the whole Twitter thing. I'm like really close to 900,000 followers. So if you wanna follow me and shit and stuff, like down below. What am I doing with my arm? If you don't wanna follow all my social media, I'm very close to 900,000 followers on Twitter. See, if you haven't done that, I will love you and I will let you die. As long as everything else, I'm also close to 1.1 million on Instagram, which is fucking bananas. Thank you all so much again. If you do enjoy the series, please don't forget to leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you thought about everything. You guys are amazing. If you are new to this channel, this is this will be a regular thing from now on, where you could just get to listen to me bullshit at you for a while. I don't know about you, that sounds like a good time to me. But I am rambling so lads, as always, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Now I'm on the floor. Bye. In the UK, for example, they use the public buses as school buses. They just like, they travel to the school, the case, find the school. Oh, wait, no, no, no. no. Hey, bro, how are you <laughs> doing? He's actually stuck. Get out of here. <laughs> so how's last place going to feel, bro? Oh, that's... I should get a poster for that. Welcome to my channel, where all the videos are blooper reels. Woo! I'm going to Snapchat you all. Hey, I did it! Snapchat mini underscore live with two Ds.